All right, let's get into the detail of the procedure. Let's see how we set up your FAMI email. First of all, open your Gmail account, either the personal, your personal account or the specific Gmail account that you have opened to send and receive FAMI email. Once you have that open, move to the extreme right corner at the top. You can see my cursor there. See those three dots over there? Click on those dots and you will see a pop-up menu display. In that pop-up menu, come all the way down to the bottom. Go to the menu item that says Manage Inbox Settings. Manage Inbox Settings. Once you see that, click on that and a new page will open. You know you're on the right page if it says Settings at the top and you have all these tabs that you can see at the top. Loads of settings to do all sorts of fancy things, but the one we want is Accounts and Import. Accounts and Import. You got that? Now click on Accounts and Import, and this window should open up. It still says Settings at the top, but you have a load of different options here. Go down to send email as. This is the box that you want to be in. Now, Kathy, Ken, Millie, you will already see your email there. But that is the email that is linked to the old server. It is no longer useful. Find your old email address for FAMI, go to the extreme right and delete it. If you press delete, that will remove all the old settings you have. If you don't do that, this procedure won't work. Malcolm and Joan, this is the first time you were doing it, so your email address will not appear here. Now, once you've done that, it's time to create your new email address. So you go down here and you make sure, first of all, that this option is selected. Reply from the same address to which the email was sent. I'll explain to you later why that is important, but you must have this radio button selected here. Once you've done that, select add another email address. This box will appear. Now here, in this box, name, um, you can put the name that you want to appear for your email. In my case, for this demonstration, I am putting email I, I info FAMI. And I'm putting the email address info at FAMI.org. Now, Obviously, you will put your personalized mail, uh, uh, email address there. Millie at FAMI, Kathy at FAMI, Joan at FAMI.org, etc. This must be treated as an alias. If you want more explanation on what an alias is, um, click on the Learn More button or ask me uh, later. But for our purposes today, this tick, this box must be ticked. Then you go to the next step. Here you will have FAMI.org, uh, username, put your full email address there, uh, 
enter your full personalized email address, add the add the password that I sent you uh, individually. Make sure that this first radio button here is selected for TLS. TLS is just a security setting for the port. Put 587. 587. Once you have this correct, select Add Account. Now what will happen is that the server will send you a confirmation code. That code must be entered here in this box. Now that code is sent to the server but you don't have access to the server so that will be sent to the server and I will have access to it. Once you've done that send me a quick WhatsApp message and I will go on the server and have a look at it and I will send you that code. Now when I open up here I switched boxes now I've gone to the email server. My account that I'm working on is info at gmail. So I will go and check the email. Waiting for my email to open. You will find this screen. Uh, uh, well, you don't need that. I need it. So I will open this. And boom, there I have Gmail confirmation. I can open that email. So I will open your account and I will find this confirmation number here. It will be different for everybody. That's why you need to contact me so that I can give you uh, your equivalent of this number. And once you have that number, you can cut and paste Paste that number in there, click Verify. Now, once you've done that, it's been verified. You can go back to your main, to your own account. It's been verified. You can check now and as you can see here, that new email has been that new email address has been created. It's as easy as that. Now, there's a second part to this. Remember that this is send email as. This is your setting for outgoing email. You want to come down here, check email from other accounts. It is just one box down from send email as. Now you go to check email from other accounts, add email address, and you go here, the email address, and now you write in there where do you want the email to come from. In my case, I want it to, to come from info at fermi.org. Org. All right, I go to next. You will have a pop three here that will show you, show you this one selected. That is the one you want selected. And you go to the next button. Username, enter your full name here. At Fanny.org. Your password, enter the password for the server. Remember, this is the password for the server that I sent you, not your password for your email, the one I sent you in WhatsApp. Enter that there. 
leave the port at 1.10. Um, if there are problems afterwards, we can always change it, but for the moment, leave your port here for 110. What the port means, that's not important at this stage. Just make sure you have 110 in there. Now here, leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server. This means you will see all emails coming to you, but you can delete them, you can lose them, you can do whatever you want. Whatever happens, there's always a copy of your email on the server and we can go back and find it and I can resend that to you. The label, you can change what you want it to say. Uh, I am going to just show you how we do this. New label and you click new label. I'm going to label that Femi Info. That is the label. Now, why is that important? It's important because I have, as you have seen here, I have a number of family emails for different reasons. So when an email comes into my main family account, which you can see here, my main family account is this one. Uh, it, 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 it's this one here, mainfami at gmail. All the family related emails that I get come into this one holding account, but they are labeled so I know where they come from. Now, once you've done that, you can see, where is it? Uh, check email from other accounts. Why does this not show here? Uh, let me do that again quickly. Add an email, info, sorry about that guys, info at family.org. I go to next, that is import emails from other accounts. I go there to next, I go to info at family.org. Uh, my password there we have it I have got 110 there I select that one leave copy I set my label uh, new label funny info okay add account then I add the account and there you can see that new account has been added so it's checking now it is now going on to the server to check what email has come in for that account so in send a mail I have created info so I have created the path to send information from that email and now um, info has checked it and um, it has found that on the server there are two emails and I can check it. But what I want you to do now to check if you've done the procedure correctly, leave this and go to your inbox that will reset your um, email to this page now go to compose as if you were starting a new email here you should see your main email of your main account but now what you should see is a small little down pointing arrow. If you click that down pointing arrow, you will see all the emails that you have. Now I've created info at FAMI and it's there. So now using my normal account, I click that and 
this email is going from info at fami.org and I can send that out to anyone. So the identity of the email is info. If I want to send from another email, I can send it from Mark at FAMI or I can send it at News Desk from FAMI. However, you will have the choice of two and for purposes of demonstration, I can send this email from info at FAMI.org. So, if you have that, then you know you have completed the procedure successfully. Congratulations on that. If you have any questions or problems, you know how to contact me. Let me know and we can fix that. I hope that was helpful.